goes the coin. Tail says Mark Taylor. Tails it is. A good toss to win, looks a beautiful track. Oh, well, all the tosses so far, we haven't won a game, so it's uh, time to turn a good toss into a good win. Well, Sachin, again at the losing end. You, you see the luck seems to be running out with the toss. Well, uh, I know, but uh, no excuse. We have to try and win this game. Mark Taylor winning the toss, deciding to bat first, and it's Mark Taylor and Mark War. Right in the middle. Mark War off the mark. Not very convincing. Jabagal Srinath opening the bowling for India. Tremendous atmosphere here, Ravi. Good afternoon, Ian. Yes, terrific atmosphere. It's electrifying. A very noisy crowd here in Bangalore. Beautiful use of the feet there by Mark War. Those are the sort of shots where the, the softer outfield will take its toll. Balls hit across the ground, uh, probably not going to be slowed up too much. Chance at mid on. And well taken. So Tendulkar strikes a terrific blow for India, catching Mark War. He would be delighted with the start the Indians have got. Losing the toss today. And he'll settle for that, picking up the wicket of Michael, uh, Mark War as early. Well, this is a good tight start by the Indians. Both the fast bowlers backing up each other. Fielders are sharp. All I can say is I'm glad it's Chandra Shaker and not me up there. <laughs> That's a long way up, about 75 metres. Score fielded by Dravid. Ball may have come off the leading edge. There's a half pull shot, I guess. And that ball running across the uh, practice pitches, it really uh, took off once it got to the practice pitches. Ball tugged across. And uh, it looked a genuine half volley to be hit through the covers, and uh, Michael Slater just uh, the bottom hand coming into play. He's trying to hit this so hard. Uh, uh, that one. And Michael Slater will be caught by Mongia, and he's chased what could only be classed as a very, very wide delivery, just impetuous, and uh, I think, Jeffrey, you described it perfectly, a fraction frustrated. Well, that's a sad end to a very good player. He's a better player than this, is Michael Slater, just charging down the pitch, and having a sort of one-handed, half-hearted slog at a ball that was nearly a wide. And immediately the catch up in the play, but uh, no run. The Indian fielding is sensational today. And there's a lot of, uh, in fact, he's called for the third umpire. The are just getting the crowd involved there at backward point. And I think the Mark Taylor may have been a bit late with his bat going down. That's what he's called for the third umpire for. Well, he hit this ball to the best fielder in the Indian side, Ajay Jadeja. He's quick, good throw right on the top. Only just made it, I think. Ryan won't get taking off the bales very quickly, but Empire Bunsell has not asked for the third Empire, so obviously he thought that uh, Mungia had taken off the bales without the ball in his hand. We'll take another look. And just went past the outside edge. Just having a bit today for Mark Taylor. Foot well in the air and then just sliding it back now. So Mark Taylor survives. Raul Dravid, the man out there at uh, deep mid-wicket, did pretty well to get to it. He covered a lot of territory getting to it. Or was just appear appeared as though it might have just been curving away from him a little. So the Australian captain survives it. Chance at mid-off. Steve Waugh not quite getting it. And it's been taken. Ganguly, the man at mid-off. And that's an excellent piece of bowling by Sunil Joshi. India needing a wicket at that stage, and they've got rid of Steve Wall. Devon again looking for two. Taylor. He's well, he's home, but mainly, I think, because of the fumble. He's hurrying for it. Oh, dear, that must hurt someone. Sunil Joshi was really charging in, trying to throw the stumps down. Michael Bevan was charging in, trying to make his ground, and they went into each other. I just watched for Bevan and Joshi. Oops! Well, he's taken a pounding there, just under the heart, the rib cage area. He'll have problems with his breathing, at least for a while. Ali Rani, always there for help. He thinks it's funny, but 
the reason for that is he's not got the globe. He loves that part of the ground, Michael Bevan. It's twice in uh, two overs he's played that shot. 28 50s and no hundred. Ah! And he's going to get closer. That is superb. <laughs> Satisfied with one, that was good work in the deep. Sarah Gangoli, the fielder. There it is. 102, the Australian captain. A pat on the back from his batting partner. And after 98 matches, a bat raised in relief. An acknowledgement to a packed house here in Bangalore. And he's trying hard here. As we then is under the mid wicket. Should take the catch, the Australians will cross, and Azarudin takes the catch off Kendulka. Taylor, after a fabulous century, is dismissed trying to hit the ball to the vacant mid-wicket area, and only Scott at the Azarudin, out for a 105. And ball the 49th over. And, well, the Australians can't uh, hit the ball off the square, so to speak. Tendulkar has a smile because he knows that uh, it's been a good 10 balls. Well, I don't think he saw that. I think in his follow-through, if you watch his face, he just sort of, oh, is that it? Where is it? Not quite sure. That sort of surprised him. And uh, the fieldsmen, the spectators, having trouble following the flight of the ball. The umpires uh, look like they may change it because nobody from this side of the... Uh, the ground saw the court and bowled. The bowler certainly didn't. And obviously the umpires, having changed the ball once, are concerned that people are finding it difficult to change. Michael Bevan is calling for new gloves. Bevan sees that straight to cover. And he's out. No ball. Run him out quick. Is it no ball? The umpire's got the ball. Well, the umpire, in fact, may have just had his arm up to get the fieldsman to throw him the ball. Well, Michael Bevan, not too pleased. Not sure what happened there. Well, there's a little bit of confusion there. The fielder thought he'd, he'd caught uh, Bevan out. But then the umpire seemed to walk over as if he was calling uh, no ball. Anil Kumble got ready to throw it, did it? Ah! Attempted to appeal, he's given him out. Well, Stuart Law just trying to force the face of the Australians across the line. And Ian is really not too pleased. Stuart Law neither. I think he might have thought he hit his back. I don't know why, just the way he played. It's difficult to tell from television. And we're about 100 yards away, and with all that noise going on, with no chance of knowing. Full toss high in the air. Tenduka is under it, running from squarely. It's going to be a great catch if he can get to it. Great catch by the Indian skipper. He ran some 55, 60 metres. He called the two fieldsmen out. He said it was mine. And Kumli got away with a waist-high full toss to Ian Healy, thanks to a spectacular running catch by Sachin Tendulkar. And Australia finish on 215. Any goal for the boundary from a full toss, that's right. You can't blame Ian Healy, he just skied it. And in the end, it was a very fine catch by Tendulkar. Kept his nerve, held on to it. But I think all in all, he will be delighted, and his team, They've come out of that pretty well, and whatever happens from now on, whether Australia bowl well or India bat poorly, the fact is they'll go into the dressing room believing that they've done a splendid job, and I think they have, and that that's the total that uh, they'll be delighted to go after, and that they should get. Rao will be the opening bowler for Australia. Somersunder and Tendulkar, the opening batsman for India. Just clipping the pad, and he and Healy looks a bit ginger there as he picks that ball up. Couple of runs, two ten look if he's good enough. Lovely placement in soft hands. Lovely soft ten look. And the crowd will go berserk. Full delivery and whipped past the line. In the air, but uh, past my wall, hit very hard and firmly. A fumble, but perhaps ten not running the first one as quickly as he may have, and uh, just down to one. the asterisk hand of Mark War, and uh, will it reach the boundary? Uh, yes, it will. 
desperate lunge. And the second time went under the arms of McGrath. And a boundary for India to complete the Fleming over. 20 for none. Picked up that slow one quite early, but it's, it's almost under. Slater's quite quick in the field, and they only get two. That's gone for four. Just the width the Milgo is looking for, and he got it. Well, that was a high quality shot. The lights are in that area. Summerson, that's going to struggle. Ball in. And always on the cards. Summerson, they were struggling against McGrath. And he's now produced a knockout blow. India lose their first wicket. Oh, he fired him very quick. And it really beat him all ends up. He might have got a little inside the edges. Went to school here, went to college here. His family made the journey to Bangalore from indoor, much like we did. Only they did it many years earlier. The 11 overs gone, it's a 30 for one. That's a good shot. The sign of a good shot, it just keeps getting further and further away from the fielder. The shot rolls, never plays so well. Oh, that's a good shout. That's a good shout, I thought it was. He's got him. They fully deserve that. Certainly Australia have deserved a second wicket. And Azraddin has now been given out. So two LBWs in a row, this time the decision given by Ampar Bansal. This game suddenly changing. With the most experienced player. This one came back a long way. He may just have hit middle and leg. I think the only problem Azar might have had was if he got any bat on that, but it didn't look as if he got any bat. Saurav Ganguly is the new batsman. That'll be a right for Ganguly. Well, that gets the crowd to life. Tendulkar looking for two. And they should get it. Oh, he's left his partner for dead. And Ten Dorcas should be cranky with himself. That was hopeless running between wickets. It really, really should have been two there once there was a misfield. Ten Dorcas went a long way down. And why he ever balked Ganguly, I'll never know, because he was going to get home easily. They say never run on a misfield. And this is a big blow for India. Slater at fine leap. Two runs from the Fleming over. Well, that's a good shot. Nice, juicy full toss. And he's put it away very neatly. One of the few uh, butt balls that India have had. Outside there. The off stump and the boundary. Yes, it is. Very good placement again. So the two boundaries have come in the last two overs because of very good placement. But boy, if ever Tendulkar needed a hundred to save India, this is the match. And a few runs down there, giving Damien Fleming plenty of work. Good, strong outfield of Fleming. Lovely shot. Tendulkar plays that shot beautifully, and has he got enough on it for the boundary? No, he hasn't. And Michael Bevan will lob it back, but a good three for India. That's beautiful play. He does hit the ball hard, Jadeja, but in between, he slips in a few very delicate shots too. It's a shot he plays very well. He's picked his spot. He knows that if he can get enough bat on it, and it's bound to be four runs there. 50 to Tim I just wonder how much uh, Tendulkar has been thinking about that to Ganguly dismissal. They got two quite easily here. Brings up 50 of the partnership in 79 balls. Very, very fine. 
very good reason why you shouldn't bowl a no ball in the over. You get an extra ball, and invariably the batsman will put it away for four runs like that. 32 overs gone. That's 112 for four. Tension starting to come back into this match. Crowd once again starting to get back into it now with Tendulkar starting to find some form. Steve War is not a happy man out in the middle. It's a case of war and peace here at the moment. Not sure the umpire. Tendulkar settled that. The difference now is that Tendulkar is starting to pick the gaps. Four back down the wicket, prepared to come down and hit the ball in the air. Bradley Hope just wondering what might have been. Jovanila to Javier. And uh, McGraw is in the way and Jadeja is stranded. And Steve Waugh breaks the stumps. He's been given out, run out. The sad end to a fine innings from Jadeja. Well, today's just wondering whether he'll be called back on this occasion. McGrath looks like he's hurt himself. So, today's just uh, turning around, just uh, wondering whether he will be called back. But if he's not being called by, by Mark Taylor, then you can assume that it was a legitimate clash. going to be a big, big trouble for Ganguly. They run him out, and that is the end of Sarah Ganguly. Tony de Villiers is running right into him, and I think size for size, Ganguly was no match. There's no way he could have made it. Well, I'm disappointed with the South Africans there. It was a, it was a pure accident, but he's given run out. That's strictly legally right, but uh, I think an act of sportsmanship was called for there on the part of the South Africans. There was a pure accident. Ganguly doesn't want to go, but I think he'll have to. Unless they withdraw the appeal, the umpires are going to confer. I think they're going to confer. I wonder if Hansi Kronje said, can we withdraw the appeal? The umpires are having a little chat. Yeah, and I think that's what's happened. That was good, because I thought at the time, that was nice on the captain, he assessed the situation and that was a good sporting thing to do. So, Hansi Cronier, he's probably just become the most popular South African in Hyderabad. And well in mind, that is, a, that is a lovely gesture. Well, you don't have to do it, but I think it's the right thing to do, whether you're winning the game or not. Today, to just to turning around, just to... Wondering whether he will be called back, but he's been given out, run out. The sad end to a fine innings from Jadeja. Jadeja goes to the right-hand side, which he should, and there's the clash of bodies. Very good partnership with his captain. Flicked away by Monia, this is a useful shot. Big chase for Slater, big dive, and the ball might just cross the fence, it does. That should be four runs. Slater says he doesn't know. So you might just see an extra run added. And this might just beat the minor third man. Yes, it does. A quite deliberate shot there from Man Monga. Hook from the face of the Man out there. Then the ground. And he's got it. So Steve Waugh has done the trick for Australia. Oh, that's beautifully placed. Distinct from Mongia hitting it straight down the field from stroke. That was perfectly placed by Tendulka. Oh, he's not next stump out of the ground. Joshi getting uh, just too far across there. And Joshi ball behind his legs, getting too far over. And suddenly two wickets have gone quite cheaply and quickly. Oh, oh that's pretty close, yes. Steve Waugh has got the LBW that really matters. He was cranky about not getting one earlier on but he's got the one that really matters Sachin Tendulkar and he's playing it a little bit square no it's 
It's hit him on the back leg in front. It is fairly full under the knee roll. And uh, disappointment, I'm sure, when India have just got so near. Not being able to achieve a victory. It's very hard to get out of the run. Is it chance? No, throw just a little while. That was hit with a lot of power and it was also hit straight, which I think is a much more sensible shot than head up and hiking it to mid wicket. Oh, he's got a touch on it, just enough to get it away from Healy. been hit the umpire has called for a replay well Sunath was very quick out of the block so I think he probably made it 193 for eight well Srinath and Kumble the two local boys doing a good job for India They've raised the hopes 164 for eight it looked uh, as though the game was over now it's Glenn McGrath looking to do something for Australia from the pavilion end In fact, it was Kumble who was uh, there near the end in Mumbai when it looked as though India might get up. Then McGrath looking to wipe the ball, and uh, that's got grandmother up out of the chair. Mother is looking distinctly nervous. Well, you would think from Australia's point of view that Glenn McGrath would be the key bowler. He's been in these situations quite a few times. He's much more experienced than uh, young Gillespie. Kumble is doing a good job because he's making sure that he's not putting himself at risk. Now, Australia probably feel that they've got a chance of getting a wicket with, uh, with Srinath on strike because he is prepared to have a bit of a swing. Now, this would be interesting, Ian Healy. Very smart campaigner, been around a long time. Seen a lot of cricket, giving some advice to McGrath. I think he might tell him to bowl length about off stump, see how Srinath plays. 32 off 25 balls, this partnership. He's gone for the Yorker. Michael Bevan is out in the deep. That'll help Australia's cause, a dot ball. Okay. So it's 18 off 19 balls now for India to win with two wickets in hand. Once again, these two teams providing uh, a dramatic contest. Well, that's well played. Trinat retains the strike, 199 for eight. And just clears Steve Waugh's head, and it's a boundary. It's brought up the 200 and raised India's hopes. Well, that was some shot that was banged in with a bit of pace and he was onto it like a flash and whacked it over the top and the crowd have gone absolutely wild. He watched those short ones, Srinath. Fleming in the deep. 12 of 15. Slater at fine leg. Looking for two, Slater, and he slips. Well, it's not often a field that slips and he gets a roar of approval from the crowd. Well, that's what Michael Slater got here in this unfortunate slip. There's nothing he could do about it as he slowed down. The heels went from under him. 
between the two local boys and he's picked the gap here and it's gone through but that makes it fairly comfortable now well there's absolute pandemonium here they've got to be thinking Australia get a wicket get Prasad in and we can get two So it's down to three runs now. Taylor has brought an extra man into the uh, circle. Akumbe has remained very cool in this situation. And Srinath has provided the hitting. That's the 50 partnership. No, and I think that uh, India are really level with the Australia score because there was a boundary stop there that I think the match referee is going to look at at the end of the game. And India don't know it. They think they need two runs to win. I think they only need one, actually. He's found the gap. India are home. Well, what a fantastic achievement by these two players. Srinath and Cumbly have done what seemed the impossible. They've got their team out of jail and given India the most unlikeliest of wins. So once again, the crowd in Bangalore will go home happy, just as they did in the quarter-final, India versus Pakistan in the World Cup. Australia wasn't good enough to get them the two points. Now they've slipped to the bottom of the ladder in this Titan Cup competition. And the Cumbly family... Well, I'm not sure that they can believe it has happened just yet, but it'll sink in. India winning by two wickets with seven balls to spare after being 164 for eight. Srinath and Kumble, the two local boys, have got them home. Srinath, 30 off 23 balls. And that's a very good hitting job. Kumble played his part. The partnership was worth 52 off 40 balls that has got India home. Srinath, Kumble had belief, had faith, and batted well. The man who uh, helped India win the match, the captain of India, Sachin Tendulkar. Sachin, congratulations. A tough one in the end for you sitting in the change rooms. Very tough. Actually, I would give credit to Srinath and Kumble. They really batted by, like champions. Uh, what about yourself, uh, Sachin? You lost wickets uh, around you. It was pretty important that you stayed there for as long as you could. It was hard to concentrate, but what I had decided just to stay till the end and you know carry on uh, till the 45th hour and then, we, then to decide whether to go for a big hits or not. Sachin Tendulkar there receiving uh, the Man of the Match award from Mr. Gribble, Australia's High Commissioner to India.